Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we're going to discuss a couple of clinicals of the knee joint which are quite important. Before we start the discussion of the clinicals of the knee joint, we all remember the various ligaments of the knee joint which are very important to maintain their stability. The collateral ligaments maintain the side to side stability while the cruciate ligaments maintain the anteroposterior stability. Hence, if anything happens to these ligaments, you know that there's a lot of compromise in the stability of your lower limb. What is the unhappy triad? First, before we talk about the unhappy triad, it's necessary to know that if your leg is extended, mostly this happens in athletes, if the leg is extended and someone gives you a lateral blow or kicks you on the lateral side of your knee, tibial collateral ligament will tear. Now, what's the important point in, in this is that the tibial collateral ligament is quite closely attached to the medial meniscus, which we've discussed before. So when the tibial collateral ligament undergoes a tear, the medial meniscus also undergoes a tear. However, in the case of if it's a lateral meniscus and the fibular collateral ligament, I've already told you previously that the lateral meniscus and the fibular collateral ligament are separated by the tendon of popliteus, which if the fibular collateral ligament undergoes damage, the lateral meniscus is spared. So this is a very important point. Now, what happens if a person has a flexed knee? When the person has a flexed knee and gets injury during sports, this obviously mostly the knee joint injuries will occur during sports. So if someone comes and gives a blow on the lateral side of your flexed knee, what happens is the unhappy triad. When your knee is flexed, your anterior cruciate ligament is the most taut or most you can say in the more undergoing the most tension because it is carrying that movement out. The anterior cruciate ligament in a flexed knee, if there is a blow occurring to the knee when it is flexed, the anterior cruciate ligament will face compromise. And not just that, since it's a lateral blow, the tibial collateral ligament also along with the medial meniscus will undergo tearing. Hence, the unhappy triad occurs in a flexed knee in most football players or other athletes in which the TCL or the tibial collateral ligament, the medial meniscus and the ACL, all three together undergo tearing. So they basically tear together. Now what is Q angle? Q angle is basically the difference in the axis of the femur and the tibia. As we all studied, the normal anatomical femur is that the femur is kept more obliquely in the body. So the long axis of the femur, this is the long axis of the femur, and the long axis of tibia, which is quite straight in your body, the difference in these two forms an angle. So the difference between these two is known as the Q angle, all right? If the Q angle is less, that means these two are more in line, this is the pathology that will occur. This is known as knock knees, or the genu valgum in which the Q angle is decreased. And when the Q angle is increased, it results in bowed legs. This is knock knee and this is bowed legs. All right, bowed knee. This is known as genu verum. Usually these deformities occur in people with rickets or vitamin D deficiency or any kind of congenital abnormality the drawer signs. So how would you know if the ACL and the PCL are damaged? Since we all know that anterior and posterior cruciate ligament maintain the AP stability, so we can check their integrity by, by performing the drawer sign or the Latchman test. The anterior drawer sign is when you're going to ask the patient to sit with a flexed posture. And what you're going to do is you're going to Pull, the, pull on the tibia anteriorly. If the anterior cruciate ligament is intact, the tibia will get pushed anteriorly in a normal manner. However, if the ACL is damaged, there will be a slight dislocation. You'll actually feel that there has been dislocation. This is known as anterior drawer sign. So you perform the anterior drawer sign to check the status of the anterior cruciate ligament. And similarly, you perform the posterior drawer sign, pushing the tibia back to check the status of the posterior cruciate ligament and if it is damaged the similar thing will occur as ACL that the tibia will go dislocate posteriorly 
So these were the important drawer signs. And a final clinical is known as the clergyman's knee. In clergyman's knee, what happens is that you un the person undergoes SIB, subcutaneous infrapatellar bursitis. So that was all for the clinicals of the knee joint. I really hope you understood the concept of knee joint. It is a quite complex joint and I really hope I made it easy for you. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching.